Uh, does anybody else want to do anything while you're here? Pointedly, I didn't stop walking. Uh, I got time for this shit, so I just kept going. Assumedly, I'm off the map at this point. Oh, Jesus, okay. I don't know why these people decided to stop to investigate. These people are fucking dead. What are you going to do? Anybody want to do, like, a perception roll, then, while you're here investigating? Uh, I want to take a look around to see if, any, if, if everything's been ransacked. Go for it. What am I rolling? Uh, survival, would, perception? Uh, yeah, just perception. Perception. Thirteen. Let's see. Ah, uh, you do find some stuff. Um... You notice, uh, you do find a satchel. Uh, inside the satchel, it looks like there is, like, a, a ten-pound, like, sack of what looks like some sort of, like, coffee beans, maybe. So, extra provisions if you want it. Like, at least, like, another two provision points there. Uh, and a kukri. It looks like it's of high quality. Okay. Uh, it looks like this is something somebody maybe left or forgot, because you notice like a lot of the other ruins are picked clean. As you are searching, though... Uh, anybody else want to do perception real quick, or I will I'll let leave. you do it, Anar? Want me to roll another perception? No, no. With the one you have, you swear you thought you saw something moving on the line where all the uh, skinned uh, bodies were. So we all rolled about the same. Yeah. Like, out of the corner of your eye, you feel like something is, like, moving, like, unnaturally. But you're, it, when you when you turn and look, nothing's there, you know, that you see, other than, like, the skins just literally, like, swaying in the wind. I slowly back towards where the rest of the group is, and I start pointing in the direction. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, real quick, is everywhere, where you all are on the map right now is where you are? Yeah, I'm good with that. Everybody moved, it looks like. I mean, unless I should delete my token. Uh, I moved over across the river where you had said the footprints were as where I was investigating. Yeah. So you would actually see uh, the movement first. And you hear, like, rumbling and rustling in the ground. Anar, uh, you notice this first as well. It looks like near, like, the water and the ditch here, like, there's, like, a ditch. You see, like, what looks like a, a bony, bloody hand just, like, reaching out and grabbing onto the rocks nearby. And then, like, out, like, from there, you see, like, what looks like bloody, ske bloodied skeletons. Just like rising from the earth. Uh, what do you all do? I panically scream it out to everybody. All right, you shout, Skeletons! Uh, are you going to fight or are you going to run? I need to know this now, because if you're going to fight, we need to roll initiative. I want to run. I could try to run. I'm on the other side of the river. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to hightail it, too. All right, so then I need everybody to roll. Uh, well, what's your run speed? Let me ask that. Or your move speed. Uh, 30 feet for me. 30? So you could do a 60, uh, Anton? Looking it up right now. Yeah, I think I'm at 30. I'm pretty sure if you're all at 30, so you guys can do Speed like 20. 6, you guys can do like 60 feet. Yeah, double move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm speed 20, sadly. Oh, 20? Yes. So you can do 40. Well, run says times four. Wait, times four? Yes. Why does it say times four? That's weird. 
Oh, that's um, that's that's run speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that right. Because yeah, double move, I think, is only in combat. So actually, we could do 120 feet on a run. Oh yeah, then you, then I think you're all fine. Then so like you th you guys can do like 120 or 80 in the case of one person. So now here's a. I'm just gonna check their uh speed, but I think their speed is shit. So I think you're gonna outrun the skeletons at least. Any penalty for me trying to cross the river to get back over here with the group? Technically, that would be difficult terrain. Yes. I so, think I can still make it, though. For at least two spaces, it'd be half speed. Oh, yeah, that's like 80. I, I can make that, no problem. All right. So, and, uh, you, you guys... through the river. So you guys hightail it out of there, like, ignoring the fact that there's now undead just rising from the river here. And uh, eventually you'll all catch up to uh, 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 Krog, who I'm assuming is Whoever just going Or Korg, excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I keep screwing up your name, I'm sorry. And I'm assuming uh, Korg is like... He probably didn't even notice you left. Oh, I noticed. Korg is angry, or hangry. Starving Korg himself... To make sure that he gets to Long Shadow before he dies of starvation. Oh dear. And these idiots behind him are stopping to investigate the first thing along the path. It's like fucking fucking morons. I offer him coffee beans. Just make you hungrier. Two also, on they're these. diuretics. They'll make you shit yourself. You brew them. Not got time to stop. <laughs> I, lo I love how single-minded uh, Korg is on this. Okay. Uh, going back to the big map then. Justin. Um, before we actually do that, um, one, one of the points mentioned the, the old lady said that she could fill my book. Uh, well, she has a uh, scrolls that she's willing to uh like uh trade for with you and all that stuff do you uh can you roll a diplomacy real quick absolutely and then i will um give you a a, a list based off the result <laughs> that's what that, i was waiting for yeah that's not a good list uh she can give you one scroll um, uh, and what spells does she have? Let's see. Let me pull up my spell list. No worries. So she has, uh, mostly level one spells. Okay. Uh, for scrolls. And they include... Uh, she, she has, like, uh, six different choices here. Uh... We got. Where the hell's the list? Here it is. We have corrosive touch. Yep. Detect metal. Yep. True strike. Yep. Hypnotism. Yep. Uh, b -b 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 color spray. Okay. And the last one is break. Um, I have break. I would definitely go with detect metal. All right. Um, she's willing to trade. Basically, just for doing the work, she's going to give that as part of the payment. Hell yeah. I, I am also going to look at what school of magic that is. Uh, detect metal, I believe that is divination. Okay. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's divination. I don't know if that's like a what? Are, what are your what's your school anyway? Uh, transmutation. And what's your opposition schools? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> You're supposed to pick two oppositions. I just like I went with the character mancer, and I didn't. 
It didn't bring up any of that, so. Really? All right, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Actually, um, I, okay. if, if that's the case, I can already easily probably state my oppositions. Okay, one, what would it be? One would be necromancy mm -hmm. and uh, abjuration. Abjuration, necromancy, okay. Yeah. So just for like mechanic purposes for the wizard, um, to cast those spells, you need to um, use uh, double your spell slots. So if it's like a level one spell that uses one slot, you need two slots and all that kind of stuff. Got it. So uh, I need you now to roll a um, d20. You, you do have a couple of areas that were kind of like marked off the map. Where are you specifically going? One second, I'm just going to write an abjuration and necromancy. Mancy equal bad. Uh, I am specifically now going to... Um, I think we're still headed, headed to this space. Oh, I'm wrong click. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because the rangers were, were here. Somewhere there, yeah. Yeah, and we were heading close. So I think the next shot would be there. Okay. Uh, roll a d20 for me. And uh, core, Team team uh, Long Shadow, I uh, you're, assume you're just going straight like that if you can roll a d20 as well. I'll, I'm calling that I'm going to get a 4. I was close. 6. You were close. Uh, all right. Who is with you specifically right now? Uh, with me. Mm-hmm. I would. I, I. I would have been with the group. Okay. Um, but at the front. Uh, let me see. Let me look at the list. I think at the front, it probably would have been Kenning, and possibly either a jet or a pharaoh. Alrighty. Has it, and also has a day passed? Yes. Okay. So uh, because mark on jet, that and all that other stuff. Yeah, because jet also makes it that we get an additional provision point each day. Yes. So uh, I'm gonna how many getting, points am I marking off? Uh you have minus one, two, three, four, minus six. Minus twenty one. 15. Uh, well, we're currently at 34 because of the additional ones. It would be 15. 15, okay. Not bad, not bad. So can you uh, place your token, please? Absolutely, I can. Uh, I will be here. So you said Kinning, Pharaoh would be near the front. I'm going to throw uh, Erdan in there as well for you. Yep. Um, so you're in like this forested area, but you do come across what looks like... Let's see. Does that look like like a source of, of uh, like spring water, or is that just... Yeah, it looks like spring water. Uh, but I what think we seen... might... Stop here. Uh, what you see here, though, do, kind of upsets you. Or it might not. I don't know. Maybe you don't give a damn. Uh, you see, like, small, like, um, cre creatures. Can I tell what they are? Uh, roll a nature check. Good thing I'm smart. They look like fey of some kind, but you can't really tell what they are. But you do notice a wolf. And it looks like they're harassing the wolf. Oh, if they're harassing the wolf, I'm gonna look to my ranger traveling companion. Auburn, I didn't put her on the map, but I can do that. I thought that was who I stated was at the front. Let me confirm this, because... 
You said Kinning, Faro, and I threw in Erdan. Oh no, okay, so if that's the case, I will I will look to uh Faro. Okay. Because Faro uh has survival. He does. So that's why I'm looking to Faro. And he's like, Well what do you want me to do about it? Do, do we go after after the things harassing the wolf? I mean, I don't really want to deal with a wolf either after that. I don't know what those are. Uh, Erdan, Erdan actually knows. He says those are mites. Are they good? Are they bad? What are they? Uh, they're nasty little assholes. Oh, fuck them. Uh, and, and, and I'll run and I'll run a fist spinning. Roll initiative. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a mini combat here. Uh, a day has passed since the previous stuff, correct? Yes. Uh, with our healer, could I have recovered any any points uh, at, uh, during the night or the morning before we traveled? Yes, you he, you healed one for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you would recover a little bit extra from that too. Oh, I just heard thunder. That's good. Oh my god. The, the mites crit on their initiative. Like I said, if we get into if we get into a fight, I'm going down based off the way I've been rolling. Then I guess you roll a new character up? Oh, absolutely. Uh did everybody roll up a new character, by the way, while I'm asking? No, I, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I don't have one rolled up, but I I already know what I'll what I'll make. I would need a new character bit to make a uh up. Yeah, I could set that up for you if you want. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Erdan in this fight, too, for you. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's some nasty thunder. Jesus. Uh, if I lose power out of nowhere, that's why. Just warning you all now. Noted. All right, so the mites go first. They, um, You notice they got like little like sharp uh, daggers? And they're just, like, poking at the wolf, laughing at it. And the wolf looks like it's been, like, injured uh, several times. So, uh, poke, 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 basically. And none of those actually hurt the wolf at all. But they, uh, you, you see the wolf is bleeding. And it looks like it's, like, almost helpless. So, uh, Forvel, you're first. What are you doing? Okay, on the one that's closest to me. Okay. I got the, my fist is spinning, and then with my and, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hand on the oar and smack it down as part of casting magic missile. Oh, cool. Okay. So it's like just these bolt of force energy just start shooting out of where your hand was spinning. And, you know, you just pelt the first mite you see. Uh, it notices you now, and it shouts something in, like... It shouts, like, in a little tiny accent, like... And I'm, and, ju and I I'm just holding the ore in front of me that magic missiles just shot out of. Erdan, uh... Starts, uh, playing, uh... Uh, no, he wouldn't do that. He actually will try. He will try to daze the nearest one. He will move up a little closer. Did that actually? Oh wow, it's broken. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I guess I have to do it manually. So 4 HD or less, uh, takes no actions, will negates. A magic, a ma missile launch, she darts out, and it's ev for, oh, for every two levels beyond first. Okay. The mite ignores his day's attempt. Now the mites go, they're going, one of them is still going to poke at the wolf, while the other two are going to run up to you guys. Because they don't like you now, because you're here. 
Uh, for Vel, one of them is going to throw a dart at you. Or, like, his little dagger at you, basically. It looks like almost like a dart coming at you. Do it. Uh, before he does that, did, uh, how many extra points did I heal from uh, the fact that we do have a healer? Uh, you would have had, like, a roll of D8 plus one on that, so... Oh, in that case, I'm at full. You don't even need yeah. to roll. Uh, he rolled a two. I don't think he's hitting you. Nope. I right, dodged the other one, out of the way. The other one stabs at Erdan. Oh, wow, he actually crit. Jesus Christ. Real low damage for a crit, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Erdan it, takes a, a dagger into his knee. Because they're, like, knee high, basically. At least it wasn't an arrow. No. Third one stabs the wolf. No, it don't. No, yeah, no, it don't. Uh, Fort Vell, go ahead. Okay, I did my magic missile. At, right after that, my, my fist got to spinning, but this time I throw a kick, and it's a telekinetic kick. Okay. Probably miss. That is a miss. Erdan is going to stab. He missed as well. Okay. And I guess we'll just keep going at it. Uh, Mike comes close to you, but you also have other people in front of you now. The one that you hit with the magic missiles comes up and tries to stab you. Nope. Misses the one on Erdan. That's a hit. And the one on the wolf misses. Go ahead, Forvel. Okay. He's up close. I have I ha I have a sword. Whirlwind Great. attack. Not enough. Come on, dice. I wanna I I just wanna do okay in a combat. At this point, uh Kinning and Farrow are gonna step up a little bit and help here, okay? I I, I am totally down. I am totally down. So uh, unless I use my auto hit, I'm not touching anything. Auto hit? M magic missile. Oh. So Kinning has her uh, her sword. That's also a miss. And Pharaoh has a uh, sword as well. You you did like recover some weapons, so like people were given them. Yep. Both of them miss. Jesus Christ. Everybody's missing. Everybody sucks. Everybody sucks. Erdan. God. I was hoping this combat would be like three rounds tops. Uh, does 14 hit your AC? Uh, da, 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 da. it matches my AC. That would be a hit. You take two damage. It's okay. I'm not down. Uh, your turn. And the wolf takes some damage. The wolf looks like it can't move. It looks like one of its legs has been crippled. Good to know. There's one in my face. I can't seem to hit anything otherwise. Magic missile. For another you, three points of force damage. Yeah, you blow it away. It's dead. And then, as an additional action, because I can't really damage anything else, I take out my juggling balls, and okay. I cover them in its blood. Okay. Alright, everybody else is attacking. Uh, no... No. Yes! Finally! Um, you see Erdan finally hits the mite and stabs it in, the sh in its uh, head. His dagger, like, sticks out and just, like, pops back up. You notice the wound in, like, the top of the mite's head, but it's still standing. It's kind of weird and strange to you. And the mite shouts in pain, like... Ah! For whatever reason, they sound like Slimer from uh, Ghostbusters. Misses. 
Go ahead, Erd, uh, for Bell. All right. Run up here. Yep. And I'm and I'm, I'm doing my same move where I'm normally normally it would be a groin a groin pierce. This yep. time it's a face pierce because because of this guy's height. Go for it. Come on, sword. You're a masterwork. I have a plus three to hit. Mm, not this time. You will once you eventually hit though, it will be amazing. It will. It will All be right. impressive. Alright, Pharaoh hit. And let's see if Kinning can finish it. Uh yeah. Kinning gets enough. It it's it's down now finally. So those two mites are dead. Uh Erdan um runs up to the, the other one now to get closer to it. But that mite's not stupid. It sees all these people coming, it just runs away. Uh, what do you do about the wolf? Okay, so first course of action I take. Second might's blood, cover the juggling balls. Okay. Uh, I am documenting every type of blood and how much is going on these juggling balls, by the way. That is super weird. I'm going to make them a magical item. This is the first step. Um, however, about the wolf, I would like to try and get closer, and I will use part of my clothing to bandage up the leg, but, and I, and I want to try and become friends with it. Okay. However, okay. I will ask someone else in the group, um, I've never had a pet. How do I talk to a dog? Auburn would be the one to speak to on that. And she says, it's going to be difficult, especially wolves are usually um, dangerous, you know. Okay. You never handled animals before, have you? Uh, animals are kind of like people. They don't like me. She uh, will go up to the wolf and check its wounds. Uh, and she actually says, okay, we need some, we need maybe some bandages. Its leg looks like it's really in danger here. Like I rip off one of my sleeves. All right. Uh, and she starts, like, bandaging up the leg, like, calming the wolf. The wolf, like, howls. Um, in, like, pain, but also, like, kind of, like, understanding. Uh, eventually, like, once the bandages are up, um, you notice Aubryn... Uh, you know, just is is basically attempting to stabilize the wolf just to make sure that it's all like safe and whatnot. Absolutely. And uh, she says she says that it looks like it'll be okay, but how it got out here near the I guess maybe it was getting water. Um. Yeah, that actually makes me think if if this is a constant supply of clean water. Do we want to set everybody up here? A little open, and the wa this doesn't look like there's a lot of water in there, though. That's the problem. All right. Maybe, like, we can gather some for ourselves? Yeah, it, it, if, if we have a map, let's mark this spot just in case we, uh, we're in the area and we're in a bind. So, um... As uh, she's patching up the wolf, you notice that uh, there's like a small bag, almost like a satchel. Uh, oh, that... I'll totally check it out. Yeah, maybe the you don't know like if it was like from the mites or not, but inside you find like some goodies. Ooh. Uh, you find what looks like uh, clothing dyes, a pair of scissors, uh, spools of thread. And a shaving kit, as well as uh, some sewing needles. And you notice two more things. Um, you find uh, two potions that you don't that you can't recognize, and you find a boot. Two potions and a boot. Yes, just a random boot. Um. Can I... Okay, this is going to sound weird. 
Can I appraise the boot? Sure. I'll do the same on the potions, but the first appraisal is the boot. You notice the boot is well-crafted and it's high-quality leather. And you feel like a magical aura on it from, from a touch. I, I'm looking at everyone as I take off my boot. Uh-huh. And I put on the single boot. Um, yeah, it feels comfortable. Does it rescale because I'm also a 14-year-old kid who's 5'3"? I mean, it's a little big on you, but you can fit it for now. I'm like, hmm, it feels magic, but I'm not getting anything from it. Let's see if it happens over time. You probably, actually, um, Erdan shouts up, usually you need the pair. Ah, cool. You gotta find the other boot. Is there another boot? What kind of magic's on it? Oh, uh, what's it? Did, did I get what type? Uh, that would be, like, that would actually be a spellcraft, I believe. Oh, I, I can make that roll. 19. Ooh. It is, it is one half of a pair of boots of striding and springing. Boots of striding and stringing. Or boot of striding. The other one's springing, I think. So for this game, what those do, so you know, it increases your land speed by 10 feet if you have the pair. You get uh, an enhancement, bo striding enhancement bonus, and they allow you to make uh, good leaps. So you also get a plus five on acrobatic checks. And it is a faint transmutation um, spell on it, basically. Ooh, so 10. Feet. Move. Uh, plus five to what? Acrobatics. Acrobatics, okay. Okay. And um, the two potions, you appraise those. Those are two potions of Pass Without Trace. Oh, these are uh, potions of Pass Without a Trace. Er you can tell by the weird color. Yeah, Erdan says we should probably hold on to those. Then. Those will be important. Definitely. And then the wolf, uh, after it's patched up, it kind of, like, howls. And it, you know, you notice that it's, like, starting to walk off to the south. Are there any howls back? Roll a perception. Because if there's howls back, I'm not going to do anything. But if there's not, that's where I might suggest we do something. You don't right. you don't hear anything, unfortunately. In that case, uh I'm definitely going to speak to our important uh to, to all over in the green. Um I, I may not be a ranger or anything or or no sh or, 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 or or no shit about why the wildlife. But I mm -hmm. didn't hear any wolves responding. She might be just uh, looking for something then, or trying to tell them where she is. Um, I think, if you think it would be safe enough, I think we tail to see if she is alone. And if so, we try and work to bring it into the group. If you want to try that, let's follow her for a bit. Yeah, I do. Alright, so you follow the wolf. Uh, after about a half hour, the wolf eventually... You know, it howls a couple of times. It eventually goes into what finds like a small cave area. Like it's, and I, when I say a cave, it looks like just sort of like a den. Because it's basically like a couple of rocks with like some leaves and outcropping there. And inside you see what look like a couple of wolf cubs. Oh, if that's the case, leave them be. Yeah. All right. if, if there's cubs, if there's cubs, I'm not messing with it whatsoever. We keep going. Alrighty. All right. Um, team Long Shadow, are you ready? 
Ready. Okay, so this is day two. 2.5. Two and a half, whatever it is. Um, you're starting to... I assume you are all eating except uh, Korg? Yeah, that's correct. I'm... Is anybody also hunting, too, during the night or something like that, or no? Oh, just yet. I have two personal rations in my pack that I can dip into for the first couple of days and then start hunting after that. That, that sounds good. Uh, so, um, you're going along the road. It's relatively uneventful um, for at least a day. But when you're like day like day four of your travels now, you actually do run into something. Um, you actually notice what looks like the signs of a battle. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it looks like there are three. It looks like dead hobgoblins, along with what look one dead ogre. In the like near the banks of the river, and you just see the bodies uh, laying there. I don't even have to do the map for this one. It seems like the closer we get to Long Shadow, the more evidence we're seeing that the hobgoblins might have already been there. They might have already hit it. And if that's the case, we might want to double back and get back to the forest and try to link up with our other crew, because if we just get the Long Shadow and it's been leveled, then this was for nothing. Feel free to turn around if you want. I'm continuing on to Long Shadow. Are there any tracks in the ground or anything that, that goes along with that theory? Uh, survival? Okay, so you count um, four dead hobgoblins, one dead ogre. It looks like um, the track... You notice like what looks like the faint tracks you see look to be larger than the hobgoblins um, that you found. So you suspect that there was like more than one ogre here, and they won the battle, I guess, against them. And you do see like little specks of blood and like other stuff that leads somewhat north uh, west uh, from your position. So it looks like the hobgoblins here were on patrol and ran into uh, some ogres or something like that is your best guess. That's the best guess I say out loud to everybody else. Benjamin pops up and says, okay, so we're dealing with hobgoblins and now ogres. But are we sure we really want to keep going this way? Everything's still heading northwest, which is the same direction we're going, so if they're ahead of us. An ogre would probably squash me and each other. Do we know anything about this town? Like, how uh, how fortified is that that city? That would be a local knowledge, if you have. Yeah, I can give you that. Uh, skills. And just local. in case, let me open my notes. 13, not much. Well, you know the basics. Uh, Long Shadow is a mining town. Uh, it is uh, one of the largest towns in the southern part of Nermathus, which is not saying much. Uh, you know, it only has like a population of maybe 3,000, 4,000 people. And uh, it does have fortified walls. It is one of the few um, towns in Nermathus that actually has stone walls. So it is pretty well off compared to other places. It's also one of the few areas that actually has like a trade in the economy outside of Tamrin, which is further east, and uh, Glimmer Hollow and all that stuff, which is further down south. Uh, most of its trade is with like the different mining... Um, operations that are more north past the ogre holes and all that kind of stuff. So, like, that's the basics of it. It is pretty well fortified, so it might be a might be fine as far as you're aware, if it's you know, aware of what's going on, but at the same time, it's also you know, 
I suggest no, that no. We, we press on until more evidence comes to light. Might be ogres that came down from the holds. Yeah, we probably press on then. If it's if it's that well fortified, then yeah, I figured it was probably just like a small little like what we had with uh, Thandar. But if it's that well fortified, then yeah, that might be it. They might have a shot. Okay. Uh, so you're just going to leave the scene here and not like investigate any further? Just want to quickly take a look at the body, see if I find anything. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, perception, please. You know, I feel like every time Korg. Uh... Is like the pace car. You guys stop to talk and or investigate something. You don't stop. <laughs> you guys got to catch up afterwards. It's all right. Um, you do find a couple of things. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, on the um, on the uh, hobgoblins, you do find what looks like um, some trail rations and stuff like that. Some overcooked meat and bread. So uh, I'll give you uh, uh, and for each dead one, you're getting an extra two uh, provisions apiece. So that's eight more uh, rations of food. One of the hobgoblins also has a spyglass, which is very rare around here. And they also have, like, this um, lovely, like, woolen cloak, which, like, a very dark gray um, cloak that actually feels, like, very soft to the touch. Can help you with, like, any cold weather or stuff like that that can come through. And on a third hobgoblin, you find what looks like a, a note or a scroll that's rolled up. Take a look at it. Uh, in very uh, neat handwriting, you see the word on the top, bounty. And, uh, I, and it says in the following, written in common also. Um, Thandar has been secured to our glorious general's satisfaction, and in her name I now offer a bounty of 25 pieces of gold to any member of the Legion who returns reliable information regarding the location of fugitive humans who fled Thandar. The payment is doubled if you instead return their heads. Live captives may be claimed as slaves. All, oh, that's almost, uh, all rewards are doubled for the impotent ringleaders of this ban returned. All information must go to the hands of my cur of a son, Sergeant Scarvinius, signed Lieutenant Skabvistin. Who here is human? Uh, Anton is. I give it to Anton. So I'm glad I'm an elf. <laughs> Same thought. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anton, you now have the bounty notice. All right. Put that on my sheet. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing that apparently they're looking for you all now. Is my camera frozen? Yeah. Oh. Crap. Um, I only want the impotent humans, though. So, is that yeah, better? I, uh, <laughs> it is better. And like, I'm covered. I'm an elf, and I'm like, I'm not, like, I'm, not like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, impudent. I like how you assume just because it said humans, that does not include everybody who's non-human. Because <laughs> it does. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Why oh, say in jest? I know that. Uh, uh, so, yeah, you have that bounty, you have some extra rations, you have the cloak, and the spyglass. Yeah, and I offer one of my extra rations to Krog. Gotta catch me first. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I imagine you're not that fast, though. You seem like you're probably more the lumbering type. You know, it's weird. I am. Like, the hunched over... You're like... Stocky faced lumbering type, but I'm exactly as fast as you are for some reason. 
I think my camera keeps going out. Also, I think you switched to microphones. I did not. Um, well, you did. You might not think you did, but you did. Switch back to my Yeti. Is that better? There you go. I don't know what's going on right now. Sorry about all that. Um. Okay. Well, you found a battle. Both of you found battles, I guess. Uh, it's a new couple of days. Can I get a roll from Forvel and from Team Long Shadow? Survival? Uh, just a d20 straight. Uh, yes, you can. I'm predicting a 17. Nah. Stop getting so damn close. Oh no, I got close to I got close to Vintar, not me. Okay, uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. We're actually going to do uh, two in a row for Team uh, Long Shadow. How does that sound? Oh yeah, three point five. I eat something. Uh, all right, Team Long Shadow. You uh, uh, you can move yourself one more. We'll do this. I just did. Uh, no, one more from there. Well, I'm just saying, if it's day 3.5, then technically we're in, like, you know, 4.5 days from... It's more so day 4.5 at this point, okay? I'm just trying not to move fast enough since the taxes don't actually mark any distance. I know, <laughs> I, I know. To get there before we get there. Don't worry, I'm, I'm keeping track. Uh, in my head, at least. So day 4.5, you actually run into somebody on the road for once. And it's actually a surprising sight. Uh, you find a centaur. It's a hell of a thing to stumble on, just on the road. Uh, you notice he's, uh, well, you notice he's actually kind of camped out on the road at the moment. Uh, it looks like he has, like, uh, a soup going on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if, if anybody wants to do, like, a local knowledge or local role. Yeah, I gotcha. Let's see here. Um, local. Cool. Uh, you, Coriel, you know that there are actually several centaur tribes that are found around the plains here. Um, whether it's in the southern plains, especially like closer to like Kragadin, which is like this dwarven fortress, but also like in the north, like fighting for territory against the ogres and their ogre holes and all that stuff. So actually seeing a centaur, not unusual in this area. He, he, uh, he looks relatively young, um, white furred on the lower half and like, you know, human looking at the top and whatnot. And he's basically stirring a pot of soup. In, uh, in Sylvian, I say hello. Does he? I, actually, does he understand? Yeah, he does understand, Sylvan. He says, ah, ah, travelers, travelers, please, welcome. How goes the road for you today? I mean, pretty, he's I speaking him, back to you specifically. I tell him what happened to, uh, to the town. Wait, what? We've been invaded? I nod. Oh, please, please, sit, sit. Uh, perhaps we should uh, trade information, then. I ask him if he speaks common. Yeah, uh, he actually stopped speaking Sylvan for a minute and says, yes, I do speak common. I said, I, I said I'll keep it common so that my, my friends can understand. Oh, I apologize. I did not mean to uh, offend or anything in my with my, the other language. No, I just wanted to let you know I was a friend. Please, my, you may call me York. Hello, York. I am an R. Yes, I kind of wave my hand to everyone else to greet themselves. Uh, Coriel introduces himself. Coriel, soldier, mm -hmm. trying to get home. You, you are a long way from home, I take it. Yeah, still got a ways to go, and now we seem to have to deal with whatever is going on down south. 
got a pack full of survivors that we left behind that we're trying to help figure out what we can do to either take back their town or set them up, set them up someplace safe. Please sit for a moment. At least rest for from the road. I could offer you some food, and you can tell me what's going on. No food would be delightful. So I have one thought on my head here, and I'm wondering how to voice it. I'm very curious. What is this thought? Do you want to know how set thought tastes? Well, no. Well, now it I am, but it wasn't before. Isn't that like a form of cannibalism? No, only if you eat that top half. Damn right. Anyway, I was going to say, how rude is it to ask a centaur for a ride? (laughs) Incredibly. Right. What's the trade-off value? He'll probably just say fuck off and go away. Oh, cool. That'll make the rest of the uh, conversation a lot easier then. Hey, how much for a ride? I'm afraid I can't transport you all. He kind of laughs at the suggestion. All right, well, how about just one of us? Where are you he- supposed to be heading? Long Shadow. Long Shadow? Why Long Shadow? I need to get there as fast as possible. Is it because of what happened down south? Possibly. How much? I, uh, it's a very unusual request. I can't really bring somebody on my back, if that's what you're asking. A squint. Why not? You would hurt my back? You have a weak back, is what you're saying. Most centaurs do, actually. I could carry a person on my back. You should be stronger. Why can't you carry a person on your back? (laughs) You have double the legs that I have. He, as he, uh, he laughs, you notice just he's, like, putting, like, ingredients in the soup that he's making. Uh, and he says, look, I... I could maybe help pass a message along for you, if that's what you ask. No, I need to get there in person. Do you have family there? No. Why are you asking so many questions? I just wish to get information about what occurred. You said that there was an attack. They will no doubt tell you. I am trying to parlay for assistance and travel. Then I think I could perhaps help you if you wish to do that. Then, uh, please, just sit for a moment. Have a a quick bite to eat, and then once we gather our strength, we will go. I've eaten today. Thank you. I tell him of, uh, the ransacked lumber mill and, uh, the undead that we found, and, uh, the battle between, uh, the goblins and the the orcs. I ask him, is there anything else that's been going around, like, from the direction of the, the town? York, uh, scratches his chin, and as, as he's finishing, um, um, the steward, uh, and with his hand, after that, he thinks, I haven't really seen much other than uh, members of my own tribes. I have not... I, I saw fire maybe a few days ago coming up north, but that's about it. Any hobgoblins in the area that you've come across? No, no hobgoblins as far as I've seen. Are they the ones that attacked the town? Yeah, and they seem to be building a fortress out of the town. That is very unusual. That uh, is it like an offensive from the na- from the other nation? So we ran out of there so fast. We don't know. As um, you guys are talking, he offers you all a bowl of soup. Pass. Mm-hmm. I take it. Okay. Pass. Did you say pass or yes? Pass. P-A-S-S. Okay, okay. Uh, Benjamin's going to eat it, though. Because he's hungry. Uh, Coriel. I'll decline for now. I'll just sip some water first. Ready? And uh, he says, well, I will say this. I, like, outside of, like, the, the, the flames that I've seen coming from the north, really nothing unusual along the roads. You said down south from here is uh, signs of battle? So yeah, you should alert your tribes. Uh, it seems like they're sending patrols this way. Hmm. Well, there's definitely something to be concerned about. So let me ask you, is there a 
Have you seen other hobgoblins? Outside along, of the ones you spoke of. Along the route this way, yes. Very strange. I'm honestly surprised I did not see anything. Uh, real quick question. That a game? Uh, in game. How many? Who ate the soup? I did. Okay. I think. Are you the only player character that ate it? I think so. Uh, can you all place your tokens here? So we'll just say this is like near the roadway. I will not place my token. So you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> Small elven <laughs> child appears. Yes. You kill him. With kindness. And uh, Benjamin and Tydell also ate the soup, so I'm going to roll for them. Uh, Anar, can you roll a fortitude save? I don't, I, don't I resist poison? Or was that later on? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Do you resist poison? From what? Being a druid or? From being a druid? Yeah. I don't see it in my stat sheet. Uh, all right, fine. I ate that shit thinking I fucking resist the poison. I was kind of hoping more people would eat it, though. I've been starving myself intentionally. You don't think so I'm going to start picking so up the strangest food. Um, you feel, all of a sudden, Anar, you feel very sleepy. God damn it, if you can't trust the druid, who the fuck is You can't trust the centaur. And, uh, York says, are you okay, my friend? Can I get a word out before I pass out? Yes, go ahead. I say it's I'm poisoned. Ooh. Uh, roll, uh, hmm. Ro roll a d3. Okay, um, you pass out, and you're going to be out for more than one round, unfortunately. It's about, like, you're unconscious, basically, for an hour until somebody um, wakes you up. Hint, everyone. I mean, and the... Yeah, Krog draws his hammer. Krog never sat down, either. I assumed as much. Uh, Benjamin and Tydell are also knocked out, so I'm just not going to put them on the map. Uh, the centaur uh, looks up and like just like stares at you all. The and hell he said, with you and your weak back. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but you're going to make me a lot of money today. So will you when I make you into glue. Alright, go ahead and roll initiative, everybody. Half of you into glue. Uh, Coriel, you, cho you chose not to eat the soup, right? Yeah, that's right. Still right. kind of tip me off. I'm like, ah, don't, I don't accept anything from someone speaking fairy language. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like a form of racism, but I can't tell. Uh, yeah, everybody knows the stories. Everybody knows that you don't you don't accept gifts from the Fae. Um, centaurs aren't Fae, actually. Uh, yeah, but if he's if he's speaking Sylvan. Uh, did you have your token selected when you hit the initiative button? By the way, Ken. Ken is un uh, Kenny's unconscious. Yeah, just in case I wake oh, up. Okay. I just mean because I saw you rolled initiative, but it didn't get added. Oh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Oh, my God. No, it, no, it did not. Three. Oh, no, it did. He rolled a 22. He... No, that's Anton. Sorry, I'm getting the A names mixed up now. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh, I just saw that somebody rolled initiative and it didn't get added to the, the thing. All right, how do you add it again? I always You right-click and add to. But yeah. if you have the token selected when you hit the initiative button, it will get added automatically. You guys can wake up Anton if you just, like, go up and shake him. Well, Anton's already awake. Uh, not Anton, uh, the other one. And our, I'm doing the A's now, too. So, first up is Anton, actually. What are you going to do? All right, uh, let's find and shoot the centaur. How dare you betray us? You're my friend. 
So sure. that would be a bluff versus his uh, sense motive. Yes, go for it. Uh, 